Hello and good morning all my YouTube friends. I am up and as you can probably see right there, <laughs> it is garbage morning. So we are going to go out and see what we can find on the curb, get ahead of enemy number one, the garbage truck. Um, see what we can save from going to the landfill, something that maybe we can use or somebody can use. Um, maybe we can sell, donate, you never know. Um, so we're going to go see what we can find this morning. It is already hot and I don't have my car running because it seems like my camera's been like really shaky and I've had to redo some of these intros because it's gotten kind of out of control. Um, but that's what we're up to. We're going to go out and see what we can find on the curb. And I've been finding a lot of cool stuff out on the curb lately, guys. So I'm really excited. And I also wanted to give a quick shout out to a friend of mine. His name is Matt. He is a teenager, guys. And he is awesome. He's a really sweet kid. He does dumpster diving and scrapping. Um, he recently has gotten monetized. And so it's just really important for him to continue getting those subscribers and those views. So if you guys are interested... Again, his channel is Scrap with Matt. Um, if you could subscribe, give him a thumbs up, give him some positive encouragement. That's one thing he does too that I really love. And a lot of his videos at the beginning, he will read some of the positive comments on his channel. And I really, really like that. Um, so leave him a positive comment. Tell him that Dumpster Dive and Mo sent you. I'd really appreciate it. And check him out and support his channel, guys. He deserves it. He's a great kid. Um, other than that, um, I think that's pretty much it. I'll probably go do some dumpster diving later, but let's go and have this adventure and see what we can find on the curb, guys. Wish me luck. All right, guys, we are here in the first subdivision. Oh, I see something over there already, guys. This could be a good sign. I'm just going to circle around this block and we'll just come back. Um, I'm not sure. I saw it was like a, there was a suitcase, but I don't know if that was in good condition, but there was some sort of like a wall sign, like a wall sign. I don't know if that's what you call it. <laughs> I don't know, you know, like a, a picture you hang on the wall and it said something. I don't know what it said, but I think we'll swing back by and see what it was. I really like to find home decor. Um, that's one of my favorite things. I don't think I have ever actually paid for a picture or a mirror, um, anything like that. I, you know, honestly, up until a couple years ago when I started doing curb shopping, I really didn't have anything on my walls at all. Um, and I was fine with that. I really, I don't know. I kind of like things, you know, not just kind of being plain. I don't know. But I guess the older I'm getting and the more things I'm finding, <laughs> the more I enjoy having some things on my walls. Okay, so here I'm circled back to where I was. And I think we'll just walk over there and see what that sign says. Why not? It looks nice. All right, I'm going to take you guys with me. You see, it's kind of stained. Live your dream. There's some bedding. Wow, these are interesting lamps. There's a PJ mask table and a suitcase. But none of it looks to be really in the best condition. So I'm going to leave that there. We'll keep looking. That was just the first step. What I wanted to tell you guys is that I'm actually going to be starting doing a, a full-time job. Um, so my son is actually, um, interning at an insurance company and he does subro for the company and he's about to wrap things up cause he's going back to college and they have decided to hire me on temporary for 90 days. So in, <laughs> in between doing my YouTube and editing and curb shopping and dumpster diving, I have been training with my son. Oh my gosh, you guys, look who it is. Ah, enemy number one. <laughs> no, 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 no. 
Oh my gosh, guys, that threw me for a looper. Okay, we're gonna keep going here, but this subdivision may have already been hit up. Let's see what we can see. I can't really tell yet if it's recycling or garbage. It might be recycling, because here's like a broken down couch. Hmm. Okay, anyway, that got me all crazy. Ooh, what's up here? I think I see some chairs. Is it chairs? Let's see. Slow our roll here. Oh, those are like some old school, but they're like chipped and peeling. So, you know, like if I wasn't doing all these jobs and wearing all these hats, um, I typically, like last year, I would have taken those and sanded them down and painted them. Um, but I just don't have the time right now to do any major projects. Like even that laundry table, guys, I still have that in my garage and I'm like, it's killing me because I can just totally picture, you know, putting a new fabric on the top and painting it. And I just think it would be adorable. Um, and I'm kind of, I'm kind of hanging on to that thing for, for a minute here, hoping I may put it in a corner somewhere and hope that one day I'll get to it because I really do enjoy that. But that type of thing takes me a while. I'm not like, huh, I'm not talented when it comes to that stuff. I, I don't know. I mean, I don't feel that I'm talented, but the few things that I have done have come out really nice and people always are amazed. Um, but it takes me a long time. It's not something that I can just do in one day. <laughs> Alright guys, I see some stuff on the side of the curb here, so I'm going to pull over and we're going to take a peek, see what it is. Looks like a Christmas wreath. sure what these are oh they're for like when you an extra cushion maybe for when you go to like a ball game pretty Christmas wreath looks like it's a lot of bedding and these are kind of cool I don't know about the bedding. This looks like somebody made that. It's actually really pretty. And those are just um, pillows. Well, I don't think I need any of that stuff, guys, but I will take the two chair um, pads. Those are pretty cool find. Moving on. You guys, here's enemy number one again. And he really is taking the garbage. <laughs> and that's crazy. I have to say, you know, sometimes the garbage comes at different times. But, like, for the last month or so, he's been coming later. Like, a half hour later than normal. And then today, he came, like, a half hour earlier. So, because I really thought I was going to beat him. I'm up and around pretty early. Um, but it looks like, let me see here. So, I'm pretty sure he's done the left side of the road. I'm trying to see on the right um, if he has indeed been here. Sometimes it can be hard to tell if there's not things sitting next to the cans. But usually, I don't know, and this guy must be talented because, you know, they use the, is this guy going to stop? I guess not. <laughs> Hold on, guys. Um, usually, when the garbage truck, maybe they're in a more of a hurry and put it down faster. I don't know. But a lot of times, the garbage trucks, when after they come and set the garbage truck, to, or garbage truck, oh, <laughs> when they set the garbage can back down after they've dumped it, the lids will stay open. So sometimes that's like a telltale sign. Um, let's go this way and see 
They usually don't go up this way so early for sure. Let's see what's going on here today. They're doing a lot of construction over here. So that's a good sign. That's a good thing. More houses means more garbage. Woo! <laughs> this some sort of a oh you know, it's just a a bag full of garbage <laughs> what do you know finding garbage on garbage day <laughs> how beautiful this is here guys with this little pond and these fountains off to the right it really is beautiful all right guys so I see a small desk and a chair, but it's all, it's all, it's in bad shape. The chair was all um, drawn on with a marker and the dust didn't look very good. So we'll keep on moving. There's that enemy number one again, guys. My gosh, I can't get away from him today. But, um, Driving this away to see what we can find. Hmm. Ooh, do I see a bench? Do I see a bench, guys? Oh, it's just a chair. Boo. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with chairs. Ooh, is this a bit of toys? What is this? <clears throat> Holy moly, I think it's a big bin of Legos, guys. Let's go see. Look at that, it sure is, guys. And look at these. I think I can clean up these drawers. Check it out, guys. Wow, that's an awesome score. That's a lot of Legos. Stacking drawers and Legos. Awesome, and here comes enemy number one. He would have taken them, and that would have been awful. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. I don't know what he's doing because he's not picking anything up that I can tell. He didn't come in there. Huh. What are you doing, enemy number one? I can't believe I found all those Legos. Guys, Legos are so expensive. And all kids love Legos. That's wild. There's an outside chair, but it looked like it was broken. I'm going to have to turn around here because there's really nothing down here. Well, you know what? Again, I think this is one of the things I wanted to show you guys. And I think I edited... I, I lose, like, bits and pieces of things that I edit and tape. Okay, I'm going to stop right here and show you guys this house. This is, like, my dream home, guys. What in the world? This is the most beautiful home I've ever seen. It's like a fairy tale house. Can you see? It's, like, cobblestone. It is gorgeous. Oh, I love this house. I love it so much. I just had to share that. <laughs> All right, enemy number one is coming. I think he's gonna turn around, which is the way I was gonna go. He's gonna think I'm crazy. I'm stalking him. <laughs> I'm stalking you, enemy number one. But can you imagine if he would have got those Legos? That would have been such a shame. I don't really know what he's doing. Why is he just driving back and forth and not picking up any garbage? <laughs> it's kind of weird. 
move aside, enemy number one. I got some garbage to collect. Oh, there's some pallets. Amy and Ashley. <laughs> I bet you would like those. Oh my gosh, what is this? What is this, guys? I'm trying to go slow. What is that? It's like a bed. Is it a bed frame? Huh. Yeah, I think it was a, a head, like, maybe for like a toddler bed. Like a, a platform bed, maybe? I don't know. I think that's what it might have been. Oh, and what's this up here? What do we got here, guys? Oh, it's like a little, that's cute. He has some drawing on the top. Let's see if I can hold my phone up and you guys can see it. It's like a, for a little toddlers to crawl through. It does have some drawings on the top. So I don't think I'm gonna take that right now. Sometimes people wonder why I don't take things, you know, and that I should take everything. And I understand that because I feel the same way, guys. <laughs> I always can think of somebody that could use something, you know, and, um, and if I could save it all and take it all and gift it all, I would. It's just, um, you know, when you go out and find stuff as much as I do, it's very hard. You've got to be careful or you will end up with way too much stuff. So that's the sad reality. I can't save everything. I wish I could. Woohoo! Guys, can you believe it? Check this out. Check how many Legos are in here. This is insane. Oh my gosh. So I've just started. I just literally walked in my house and I'm pulling out like all of the little minifigures because they are adorable. Even when my kids would play with Legos, I would <laughs> always look for the minifigs. And I'm wondering if I can find the head for this. It looks like a little turtle. How cute is that? Oh, looks like he might have been damaged. <laughs> of course, he's supposed to be like that. But anyway, I'm just being silly. And then these are like Playmobil people. Um, and there's a lot more. Oh, this looks like it's going to be Wonder Woman. I got to find her head. But look at all these Legos, guys. And there's other stuff. This is like its own little treasure hunt, guys. Because like, let's see. <laughs> this isn't a Lego. It's one of those little squishy, it's a little rabbit. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> and it looks like there's going to be some sort of a guy that you can build a big guy. So this is going to be a lot of fun just to kind of dig through. And my husband is big into Legos. He would never let me get rid of any Legos. So we have bins of them. Who's this guy? There's a person so this is going to be a lot of fun to go through and see what we can find oh here's something it's not a lego a skeleton dude <laughs> so yeah this is just gonna be uh oh stormtrooper guys so i bet you i'm gonna find all sorts of cool stuff in here and if i do find a lot of little mini figs i'll go ahead and put them together and come back on here and show you guys um, some of you probably are more interested than others, but there are a lot of people that enjoy looking at minifigures, um, and I do. So, I'll see what I can find, and I'll put together anything that's real cool, and I'll come back and show you. Can you believe people throw things like this away? That's crazy. Ooh, I see a little face down here. <laughs> this is so much fun. Such a treasure hunt, guys. Let's see what else. Oh, I see a person. Another one. I see a pencil. <laughs> oh, I see a little paper clip. Let's go to the other side. We'll just see what we can see on the outside. Anything fun? Oh, I see a fruit roll-up wrapper. <laughs> There's like a little monster dude. Oh, there's another body. It's tricky finding the heads. They're so small. Probably all on the bottom. All right, guys. I'll be back. All right.
right guys so this is what I was able to come up with so far I just don't have the time to sit here and go through all of them right now but I did want to show you some of them because I believe like that I believe is the Joker and I found the hat for Harley Quinn so I'm hoping to find her in there and I think that is Wonder Woman there were a couple stormtroopers and some of them I'm not even sure I'm almost wondering if this is the girl from Harry Potter. Um, but yeah, lots of cool minifigs. And I'm sure there are a lot more in there. <laughs> I'm going to have to keep going through. And see, here's some more Stormtrooper heads. And there was a Hot Wheels car as well. Oh, <laughs> what did I do, Ruby? Where'd it go? Can you say hi to your YouTube friends? So yeah, lots of cool treasures. I'm gonna keep going through it when I get a chance, but right now I have to go and do some training for my new job. And these were the bins I forgot to show you guys. And they are dirty, I need to clean them. And this one has like a, a little crack, but I can't even feel it. So whatever, I'll clean them up and use these. But is this for real guys? Like. Who in their right mind would pay $10 for one of these drawers? <laughs> That's what it says. So anyway, I'm going to clean these up and we will definitely use these. And I'm going to keep going through all of these and see what we come up with. Thank you so much for writing along. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some enjoyment out of seeing these little minifigs. And until next time, guys. Bye.